Hey you guys, happy Monday. I thought it would be a great time for um, some Monday motivation since we're working on um, some commitment, some consistency and creativity. And I wanted to talk to you guys about um, motivation and inspiration and what it actually means to me. So a lot of people um, think that motivation and inspiration are one and the same, but they're definitely not. And sometimes it takes you going through something to really realize that they're not the same. So a lot of people say, you know, I need you to motivate me. I need you to inspire me. Or they'll say, um, there's nothing that is giving me motivation. Um, I need something to hold me accountable. I need something to inspire me. And sometimes people kind of tangle and mess up those words and interchange them in the wrong ways. And then sometimes people are looking for inspiration and motivation in the wrong places. Um, but inspiration is when you get inspired by someone, something, that something could be something you read, something you hear. Um, it can be inspiration because you saw me work out. It can be inspiration because you saw someone meal prep when you were just getting ready to pick up your keys and go to McDonald's and get something you shouldn't have. Or you may hear a quote at work or on the radio that has nothing to do about what you need to be uh, motivated about and it gets you inspired. And then um, motivation is when you kind of psych yourself to do something. So that motivation is coming from you. It's almost like it's almost like, I've seen it called before, like fake growth. You actually get up the nerve to chase after something in hopes of growing at the end. So inspiring is being inspired to do something. And motivation is really believing in yourself that you can do it and you're chasing that dream and hoping that you get from point A to B. But the biggest thing... Um, is that the motivation is coming from you, the inspiration is from someone else. So when people say, I need you to motivate me, I need you to motivate me, the motivation comes from you. I can give you inspiration all day long, other people can give you inspiration all day long, but the motivation part, that's really the part that comes from yourself. Inspiration is almost like um, a feeling or a spirit that kind of, you know, makes your fingers snap or it makes something click in your head. So there's definitely a difference um, for both of those things. But sometimes that inspiration may come for your, from your why. And I'll do a separate video about finding your why, believing in, to, in your why, holding on tight to your why. But sometimes the motivation comes from your why, which can be separate from inspiration or what's inspiring you, or it could be all in the same thing. But you do have to remember that if something sparks your fire and inspires you to do something, you are basically being given the keys to change. You are giving yourself like a window of opportunity to believe in yourself for a split second when you get inspired and then the motivation part is really acting out the actions or behaviors that you need to actually get to where you want to be so the first thing that you have to do with motivation is believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself when no one else believes in yourself um, sometimes when you're on a journey whether it's um, completing your MBA or you are trying to um, you know finish a weight loss challenge or something like this or you're trying to I don't know learn to build a bookshelf from scratch um, you have to believe in yourself that you can do it before anyone else sometimes you'll do these types of journeys alone so some of you guys may be in the macro challenge and no one else knows about it. And so you are definitely believing in yourself before anyone else does. And you have to also remember that you're where you're at 
right now or before this challenge because of who you are. But you're in this challenge and you're changing and you're turning and transforming into the person that you want to be um, or you're tra chasing after the person that you want to become because you wanted to change who you are. So you're at where you're at because of who you are. But to get to that other place is because you want to be something different. And that's part of that motivation. So when you are motivated and you start off on a journey, journey and you've got one foot in front of the other trying to achieve your goals you have to know that sometimes you're going to get knocked down whether that's by yourself your fears your insecurities you may also get knocked down by other people watching you may also get knocked down um, by things that you may not always be able to um, get away from so maybe finances or maybe your health, or maybe there's someone else that's sick, or you're extremely tired because you're working double shifts. But you have to know that you have to be motivated to get knocked down and then get back up. It's like a cycle. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to have to keep getting back up over and over and over again. So the same thing holds true if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to drop fat, if you're on this journey and then you're starting to feel tempted by sweets, you're on this journey and then maybe you lose your job, you're on this journey and maybe one of your children gets sick, if you give up, you're going to have to start back at the very beginning. But if you get knocked down by those things and get back up, it's going to make the journey shorter. My journey from A to B was not like this at all with my weight loss it was up and down up and down and up and down but every time I got knocked down I had the motivation within myself to get back up because I believed in myself before anyone else did once I really believed in myself and I really started chasing after my dream uh, my husband believed in me my family believed in me but that doesn't make them, you know, not a good family, not a good spouse or anything like that because they didn't believe in me first. You have to believe in yourself first, whether people are going to be, you know, pushing you through through what you're doing. And you have to believe in yourself whether you are doing it completely solo. But that inspiration is a whole outside source, but that motivation is all you no matter what. Um, but you have to be the first to believe in yourself you have to have a dream, you have to hold on tight to it, and then just keep chasing it and chasing it and chasing it. And that's why I always use the hashtag, a girl who went for it, because I believed that I could do it, I knew that it can be done, and I'm not saying that every single moment, 100% of the time that I thought that I could do it, I fell off like 50 times, but I believed that I would get there some way, somehow, and then once I started being more committed and more consistent, and the more results I got, the more I believed in myself, I was able to get from point A to B because I believed in myself more than anybody else. So um, think about that. Think about the things that inspire you. Think about how you motivate yourself, but make sure you're looking from that mo for that motivation to come from you. Being inspired by other people and other things is great. It's awesome. Um, I follow a lot of social media accounts on Instagram because they inspire me. And then I start doing things that... Um, I want to achieve with my health and fitness, but I'm motivating myself to do them because you can see something and hit like and comment and oh, you look good up. Oh, you're, you know, shaping up real nice up. Oh, you lost 20 pounds and you're thinking I want to do the same. But the motivation is what kicks in after you hit that like and it makes the difference between you continuing to scroll and watch other people hit their goals and you getting up and you chasing your goals. So um, one time I heard somebody say, don't let somebody else's body or somebody else's life or somebody else's dream be just their dream. If there's something that you want, chase it. You know, don't hold yourself back because you don't get, you don't find that source of motivation in yourself to get there. But 
Um, I hope that helps you guys, but I'll do a separate topic on um, chasing your why and having a strong why because your why definitely has to be more than getting into a swimsuit this year, especially if you want to have like a temporary, or sorry, not temporary, <laughs> if you want to have a lifelong, long-lasting change in um, your health and your physique, your mental health, all of that stuff. But Get inspired by something and then find that motivation within yourself to make your dreams come true.